The New York Times has just posted a new story. Uh, here's the essence of the reporting from the New York Times. They are suggesting that the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein discussed uh, with officials uh, back in 2017 the possibility of wearing a wire uh, to record President Trump uh, and to get a sense of what was going on inside this administration. The New York Times also reporting that Rosenstein discussed the possibility with other officials of recruiting senior administration officials for an effort to invoke the 25th Amendment, which can be used under the Constitution to remove the President of the United States. Now, uh, <clears throat> it appears from the New York Times reporting that neither of these things actually happened, that these were discussions that were considered and apparently, according to the Times, did not go forward. The New York Times has also posted a statement now from Rod Rosenstein. Remember, Rosenstein is the official who is leading the Russia investigation because the Attorney General Jeff, St Jeff Sessions has recused himself. Take a look here at the statement from Rod Rosenstein who says that the New York Times story is inaccurate and factually incorrect. I will not further comment on, an, on a story based on anonymous sources who are obviously biased against the department and are, Rosenstein goes on to say, at advancing their own personal agenda. But let me be clear about this. Based on my personal dealings with the president, there is no basis to invoke the 25th Amendment. Now, this story is getting immediate attention here at the White House. No comment from White House officials. Remember, the president is traveling. Uh, he's away from the White House right now, but aides here not offering any response whatsoever in the first minutes since this story broke. But uh, an extraordinary thing to contemplate a deputy attorney general uh, d even discussing the possibility of wearing a wire against the president of the United States and officials even discussing the possibility of invoking the 25th Amendment, although uh, neither of those uh, apparently moved forward beyond the discussion stage and although Rod Rosenstein now issuing a statement saying that this story in the New York Times is incorrect.